All right, so I think the problem we're having here is not that uh, we're not sending any information, it's that uh, it's refreshing because if it goes through here, because every piece of information that we have here is correct, therefore it refreshes the whole page. Once it gets to here, it actually saves to the database and then it does a page refresh. So what we will do is let's just put die at the end here on this one. Let's uh, end it with die so that we don't go any further than that point. So I'm going to select a file and hit save. Okay, so finally we have something here which is awesome. So now we have an image here and all the attributes that come with it. Now the reason this is image here is because that's what the input, uh, the input's name is. If I had written that as image2, I would have image2 here. So this is important if you go to um, here on this one, the name is image. So that name is the name here. So it's important for accessing the file. Now, if you don't want to worry about the names like this, you can just put this inside a loop. And then each time, maybe you up uploaded multiple files, even though you're just uploading one file, you can put this in a loop. So you don't have to worry about that. You only need to worry about the name, the type, uh, temp name, etc., etc. But the problem with that is if somebody uploaded, uh, selected 10 files, they can easily upload all of them. So for now, let's just use image as it is directly like so. So these are the things we have to look for. We have to make sure that the image is of, is of the type that we want. If this was a PNG, it would be PNG here. That would be the only difference. And then the file extension will be different as well, of course. So for now, let's accept a JPEG, but we can also accept a PNG a little bit later. So let's go back here. And uh, <clears throat> so inside files here, we know that uh, we have something. So I'm just going to put things here and say if actually the best time to upload a file is if everything went well, we did the validation. Because imagine we keep doing validation and then we lose the file. Uh, we, we'll keep uploading files uh, unnecessarily. So it's better to do the file thing once we know that we are going to actually save and the validation is complete. So right about here, I'll just say check for files like this. Okay. So at this point, check for files. And then I will put uh, if like this. If count, let's use the count. Uh, not Instead of post this time, we're doing files like this. So I just want to see if the count files is greater than zero, then it means we do indeed have an image in there. So I'm going to do this. So we have an image like so. Okay, so then we're just going to get the very first item in there. So I'm just going to say image. Um, let me come back here. Now, this is entirely up to you whether you want to use the original image name. But for now, let's just use that name for now. We can adjust things a little bit as we go. So first of all, let's check to see that the type is correct the type and the error is zero. If you want to check for size, you can do that here. But uh, for now, we're not going to be checking for that. We just want uh, to check if the error is zero and the type is JPEG. Now, because we may be uh, adding more uh, types, we're just going to say allowed. We'll create a, an array like this, the allowed formats. So for now, it's image JPEG. Actually, we can allow both image JPEG and PNG right here without any problems. So PNG. So we're adding to this array. We just created an array and added to the end of it and added to the end of it. So here I want to check for an if statement. I'm just going to say if files. So 
it's like this. If files image, because that's where we have those things, the first item, if the image, um, let's say error, if the image error is equal to zero, like this, which means things did go well, that's the one right there, and then the type, now we want to check for the type, and then we'll say if and in array, we want to make sure that the type we want is inside this array, one of the two. So here we're going to say um, in array, the needle is what we are looking for, so we are looking for the file type so I'll copy this and paste it there and then finally we are looking at the haystack which is this uh, array that's where we are looking that's where we are searching in the haystack okay so if this is good actually I should have moved these guys over here like so okay cool and then now what we want to do is create a folder in our public folder right here where we can save our uploads we're going to call that file uploads so i'm going to say folder is equal to now everything is in reference to the public folder so if i just say uploads like this this should suffice um like so yes yes like this okay so if not file exists, so I want to check if that folder exists and we use file exists even for folders. So like this. So if not file exists, which means this folder does not exist, then we just do mkdir, which means um, we want to create that folder, but we just not create it. We want to give permission for us to be able to access it. So those are the permissions that you need. The, uh, you can check file permissions to see what this means. And then we'll put true there to make sure that if we added more than one folder here, it will create all the folders required until the last folder we specified here. But it's not necessary here since we only have one folder, but it's good practice to just add it there. So once we create the directory, we are good to go. So by the time we get to this point, we are very sure that our folder exists and we have permission to put stuff there. So once we get to this point, all we need to do now is move the uploaded file. So I'm just going to say move uploaded file like that. And then we get the file name and then the destination. So the file name is the source where this was taken. So let me paste this one here just change this at the end so it's already showing us where the file is it's right here it's in this location so we just need to get that temp name make sure you type it's tmp not temp so that's something to look out for uh -huh. so temp name and then the destination so where do we want to take this file so we already know the folder but what about the plus the file name so I'm just going to say destination is equal to obviously the folder. The folder already has a slash in there. So we just have to add the file name and we already know the file name here. So I'll copy this and paste it like so. And the file name is this one right here, name. But we'll use a random file name generator to deal with this because we don't want to replace files that end up having the same name. So copy that and let's put name in there, like so. So the file name and the folder, and then we just make this a variable destination, like so. Okay, so this is useless here. Okay, so destination is set at this point, which means we may want to add that to our file input. Now the thing is uh, the file column in our database. Now the thing is, it we don't want to replace a file if the user does not um, does not add any files. So the best thing to do is to set a variable uh, to say there is an image or there is none. So we just say has image like this. You can name it anything you want. For now, we start with false. We assume there is no image. 
but then once we move the uploaded file then we are sure that there is an image so we set that to true okay so has image true etc and then now um, actually we don't need to do this sorry for doing that what we um, wait do we need to do no we don't actually need to do that at all what we would do instead is to add to the this post data right there okay so we're just going to add it there because this is the array that will be updated so i'm just going to copy this and then the same way we added rank here in this manner uh, we're going to add image there so i'm just going to say post image is equal to destination yeah so once we add it there it will be part of this array that we send to the uh, model and then that will ensure that we have an image in there okay and then if we don't go through this there won't be an image in the post because remember images are sent through the files uh, thingy here so it will all work out as planned okay so once we have that let's go now and check now keep in mind we don't have a folder called uploads in here so if we see that folder then we will know that things went well so i will refresh this page one more time now this time i'm going to remove the die and this show thingy here so out of here and let's refresh let's go okay so there we go uh we don't see anything has changed but let's come down here and make sure we have a folder so we don't have a folder here at all hmm okay cool so something went wrong clearly let me see here uh, yeah so what we will do is in order to troubleshoot where we're going wrong here let's first move through um, <clears throat> this step by step so I'm just going to put, uh, let's say, die over here, just to see if it actually passes through this section. So browse, let's put a file, and let's go. Okay, so the fact that it has died there means uh, everything is good up to here, but do we get to here? So let's add die inside there. So troubleshooting 101 there. Okay, so the fact that we've moved past that means we didn't go through here and that's where the problem is so let's check and see why we didn't so here it says if files image error is equal to zero and in array okay so the problem here is i left error there instead of type okay so we're checking for the error to see if that error is in here and it isn't sorry about that there so it's the type we're supposed to check for so this should work now so let me browse click there and let's hit save now let me go back here and see what has happened so we see a new folder called uploads and there's a file in there so which means we are good to go and if i go to my table where is my table let's make sure that we indeed got a value in that users um it's is it users though wait 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 yes it is users and if we go to image there's absolutely nothing there so which user is this this is the main user right there okay uh -huh. so nothing in image so let's see what's going on Let's first check the model to make sure that it actually affords us a chance to do something like this. So this is the user's model. So into the model, is image part of this? It isn't. So it's not part of the allowed uh, list. So let's just add it there. So that's one mistake we made. Okay, goody. And then when we are validating here, do we validate the image at all? and it seems we are not doing that so maybe for now that's okay since we are doing our validation much later we can add those things uh, a bit later so let me add that image again let me choose a different one um, 
I like this one. Let's uh, save. Okay, so the fact that this has changed shows us uh, we are in business. Yeah, just the wrong kind, I guess. Let me inspect this and see what the problem is. So here it says the source is uploads, uh, and that's the name of the file. So why isn't it showing, though, if that's correct? Now, the reason it isn't showing is because we need root in the display of the image there. So let's go to our, um, it's because of the HT access file. This is why we are having this issue. So back to our uh, profile edit and where we are giving the image something to do here. Um, let's see what's happening. So there's this get image thingy. So this is a function in core. So let's go to core and there's a functions good so let's find get image shall we and there it is right so here it's using assets instead of root so image uh yeah mm -hmm. so instead uh the file does exist so it doesn't go through this portion of the segment so let's put an else statement right about here and if which means the file does exist so all we need to do is add root to the beginning of this so say root dot like so goody so this is the beauty of using functions like this it means now I can just make one edit and wherever there should be this image, it will show up correctly. Now let's see what problem we have. Let's inspect one more time and it isn't doing its job because I don't see root here. And uh, that's my problem because I didn't do that. I'm supposed to do this instead. So refresh. Okay, so now the thing is correct it's just that we don't have a slash at the end so we needed that slash after root like so and concatenate the image and then refresh and there we go okay so now there's a profile image here and if i go to staff members uh, you see there's an actual image there which is awesome because all these are using the same function that we're editing here so once i uh, update that uh, things are good um, very nice very nice go to our profile there we go now if you've noticed the image is oblate it's not really a sphere or a circle that's because it's uh, not a square image so we need to write our own function that is going to crop this image and make it a square image so that it looks much much better than this so I will see you in the next video where we create a function to crop our image. I'll see you then.